Hey, we're Among Giants. And this is the Valencia Voice. Danny Morales of the Valencia Voice here with the guys from Among Giants, local Orlando band. Uh, let's introduce yourselves and tell us what you uh, play in the band. My name is Greg Hughes. Uh, I play guitar and I sing in Among Giants. My name is Zach Anderson. I play drums. All right, all right. So, so you guys just got back from a tour. You guys went to a couple different states. Uh, how was that and, and how often do you guys like touring like that? Um, we went all the way up to Cleveland, and we try and do as much as we can. Zach's a school teacher, so really when his breaks are there, we kind of hit the road. Um, we're trying to do weekends this next year, so really when we can make it out, that's when we try and do it. So. Yeah, it's built in being a teacher, so I have like spring break, winter break, and summer break, so we just kind of schedule everything around that. What's it like for you being a teacher? What, 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 what do you teach? What grade? It's uh, fifth grade math. Fifth grade. So what's it like being a teacher and then being in, in like a, a rock band at night? Do, do your students even know? Uh, they actually do know. They've been begging me to tell them the name, and I won't. Um, it's, it's, it's a cool mix. Like, most of the teachers are, like, blown away when they find out I'm in a band, and then, like, most of the people we hang out with are blown away when they find I'm in a teacher. So it's, I don't know, it's a weird balance, but it's cool, and it helps pay for my equipment and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty dope having a salary. All right, that, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, and that's pretty unique. Uh, Greg, I, from my understanding, you kind of started Among Giants as a solo project, yeah. and then eventually he jumped on board. And now yeah. you guys have, also have a bassist. Uh, just yeah. talk about the evolution of the band and how you started it. Yeah, well, I mean, I played in bands when I was in high school. It kind of just started as a way for me to play acoustic music and really just write songs that I wanted to write. And um, I met Zach actually at one of my shows. He was a, a mutual friend of another acoustic musician that I played with. So Zach just came up and asked if he could play, like we could just work one day out and play drums together. And like from that day, it was it was awesome. You know what I mean? It clicked right away. And it was really something I wanted to do because acoustics really fun, but it's also not as fun as being in the band. You know, it's it's only you, and that's never really something I wanted to do with music. It was always like a building block to build onto something. You know, and kind of finding Zach was like the perfect mix. And now we have Mike in the band, who's also like that third person who's just perfect for it. You know. Well, I, I understand you guys uh, recorded the Truth Hurts. That was just you two, correct? Yeah, yeah. He did drums. Yeah. And and was that the first time you guys had gotten together on, on anything recorded? Yeah, that was the first time he had already planned on recording Truth Hurts, and then we kind of started jamming together, and he actually recorded with uh, my roommate at the time. So I was already here, and like the songs we had drums for, we uh, we recorded those. Are, are you guys working on anything new, a new EP or anything, now that you guys have a trio? Yeah, we have uh, a new P, like new EP coming out in like a month or so. All the songs have been done since like October. It's just kind of, we're kind of t trying to do this more professionally and get the songs out there in the right way so um, we can kind of have the best press behind us and really just move forward in the, the best with the best foot forward, you know? But uh, it should be out in the next month or so. And we've been writing, I mean, me and Zach live together and Mike's one of our best friends, so we write all the time and we have like plans for a full length, I mean, the summer. So we're making moves or at least trying to, you know? All right, so people can be out on the lookout for that from Among Giants. Um, you guys recently came out with a, a vinyl if I'm not mistaken, yeah. right? Uh, what, what goes into the idea of wanting to come out with a vinyl? I mean, we know some hipsters here and there listen yeah. to it, but, but how, how do you guys decide, hey, let's put out a vinyl? I mean, we just know a group, like the, it's kind of weird to say, but we, like, the people that listen to us and the people we've met on the road are the kind of people who would buy vinyl as opposed to CD. It is totally kind of like a hipster thing, but... I guess the people that we met along the way, that's something that they really see as like a landmark in being a band. Like when you're able to put out a thing on vinyl, just the work that goes into getting it done is like, it's a accomplishment getting there with a the band. So really when we put out that, it was a split seven inch, when we put that out, knowing that like it was three months of just someone slaving over that, that vinyl being made, it was just like, damn, like this is, this is cool as hell, you know? So... It was, it, is it nostalgic and like weird to like have your own vinyl knowing that like back in the day like this is what everybody had? Yeah, it totally is. Like you see your dad's record collection and now it's like you have a vinyl with your own music on it. I have our first test presses like up on my wall. Like just hanging there, dude. It's 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 a really cool feeling. I still listen to CDs personally. I'm not I guess enough of a hipster, but I'm getting into the vinyl game. I'm working on it for sure. Yeah. Do, do you have your own vinyl little collection? I I, I listen I listen to vinyl, but still CDs so easy, you know. But it's it's definitely a thing when uh, we first had our music on vinyl. I just sat there for a day and was like, this is the coolest thing, you know. So. That, that's pretty awesome. I, I, I know uh, I've been out to one of the house shows. I know you guys like to have house shows. Yeah. How how cool is it for you guys to be able to kind of 
get you know really close yeah. to your fans and obviously you i know you guys yeah. do donations but then that helps you guys tour and put together things so how much does that help you guys out i mean it's just kind of how we want to do it you know like we've never really seen a huge appeal in kind of playing bigger shows are fun but it's so much more fun when you just hang out with everyone afterwards and just have a blast you know there's no really like I don't know. It, there's nothing really like it, you know. It's just like a party, and everyone just has a blast listening to music. And we just have the perfect house house for it. Zach's lived here for a few years, and like his neighbors are all cool with it. So we kind of just got into a perfect situation to be able to have shows here, and we've just kind of made it happen lately, you know. How have you liked the house shows as the drummer? Um, I I mean I like them. Uh, we started out it was just like acoustic stuff, just really quiet. And then one time it was actually his birthday. We had a couple bands come out and play, and we just crossed our fingers that nobody would call the cops, and nobody did, and I actually talked to the neighbors, and they were totally down. Like, they actually love it. They ask us to open up the windows so they can hear it better. And, yeah, it, it's really cool. I don't mind it. I, I like having a lot of people in here, so it works. Yeah. All right, well, uh, I got to ask, how, where did the name Among Giants come from? It was, it was one of the first songs I wrote. It was just a line from the song, and I always thought it was really cool, and uh, it's kind of stuck I guess with the band, and I guess ever since we've moved forward with the band, it still stays relevant, you know, because especially when Zach was in the band, I think we thought about it, changing the name, and it stayed pretty relevant, so we, we held on to it, you know. All right, all right. so uh, what, what are the next uh, plans for you guys this year? Obviously, the EP and the full length. Uh, where are you guys playing? Where can people check you out at? What, um, what's out there for people? Well, we're, on, we're online, Facebook, Among Giants FL. Um, we're doing a weekend trip with Henrietta at the end of February. We're going up to Savannah, Georgia. And then we have a show at um, Will's Pub with Iron Cheek on March 4th. So that's going to be our next Orlando show, which is kind of a big one for us. So we're excited for that. Are there any plans for uh, whenever you guys do that full length? Are you going to try to uh, do any kind of CD release parties, anything like that? We're, I think when we have the EP, we're going to be doing one for that. Um, we're kind of locking down the exact day for when the, we'll have them in our hands so we don't kind of make a CD release show without having them <laughs> available. But uh, we're going to do something for that. And then when we have a full length, we're definitely going to do something for that. And um, I know when that comes out, we're going to be doing a big tour and all that stuff. So we're going to be trying to push our music pretty hard this year. So. All right, all right, sounds good. Well, thanks a lot to the guys from Among Giants. Anything you want to say out to fans that are watching this? Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Zach? Uh, dope skis.